Hi guys, so I just finished my pediatrics rotation and I thought I would wrap up each of my rotations with just a quick recap of my thoughts on the rotation, what resources I used to study for shelf, and just an overall summary of potential pros, cons, typical schedules, salaries, things of that sort for the field. Uh, please do remember though that this is just based off my own personal experiences in the field and so just sharing my opinions and you can take them as you will. Uh, but if you are interested in checking out what a week in my life on my pediatrics rotation looked like, you can check out this vlog right here but yeah my thoughts on pediatrics let's get into the video so first, a typical schedule for most outpatient pediatrics, I'd say, is Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 p.m. Depending on where you are, you might also have some early morning newborn rounding at the hospital, maybe a couple times a week, but I'd say generally that's the schedule that most outpatient peds offices follows. I unfortunately didn't get any inpatient peds experience though due to COVID, so I'm not too sure what inpatient peds schedules would look like. Average salary for a pediatrician in California, from my research, I found was about 150K to 250K, which comes out to an average about 200k and typical bread and butter for outpatient pediatrics so that's stuff that you're seeing all day every day it's taking up a bulk of your practice um, i would say is well child visits like so many well child visits uh, sports physicals viral rashes uh, ear infections and then the atopic triad like asthma allergies and eczema you'll see a lot of all of those things in pediatrics but that being said some of the interesting things that i got to do slash see on my rotation was uh, tuberous sclerosis preceptal cellulitis, um, metatarsis adductus, um, a lot of penis stuff interestingly like phimosis or balanitis, magma. Um, I also got to hear respiratory sinus arrhythmia which was really cool and got to help out on a few circumcisions as well. As for the pros and cons of pediatrics for me personally, uh, the biggest pro for me personally was that I loved working with kids. I used to babysit all the time growing up and so I had a lot of fun just working with kids again. Um, I also love that you get that continuity of care because you're seeing these patients and their families at least once a year if not even more often and so I love that you get to see them grow up and you get to be a really big part of their life. I also really like that most pediatricians are quite nice. I know that's a generalization but you will rarely meet a mean pediatrician I feel like. I mean they help sick kids all day you know they work with kids all day. They for the most part I feel like are generally nice and it's always nice to work with nice people. Um, so those were some of my biggest pros. One of the biggest cons for me though was that there are just so many well child visits and physical it just got really really repetitive after a while even after my I think first week I was like man this is this kind of getting repetitive you know and most of the patients coming in for those were just healthy you know coming in for just a regular quick checkup and so it just wasn't as hands-on and like brain stimulating enough if that makes sense um yeah I don't know it just got really really repetitive for me also I will say that most of the parents and families that I saw weren't difficult but uh, we did run into a few anti-vaxxer parents and families and I can imagine that caring for patients who can't necessarily speak for themselves all the time or they can't make their own medical decisions um, that could be a pretty difficult part of the specialty and then lastly the pay just isn't the best just because insurance reimbursement isn't great and so to make up for that you have to see a very large volume of patients so for example one of my preceptors was seeing 30 to 40 plus patients a day to make up for the really crappy reimbursement and you just kind of had to do what you got to do to make a living for yourself you know and so I um, would say that that is also a pretty big con as well now in terms of studying this was my very first rotation of my third year and so I was really unsure of how to study for shelf exams because it's a very different way of thinking than studying for your preclinical years or for step one and so what I did is for my PACE shelf exam I first watched all of the online meta videos for pediatrics and then I listened to the divine interventions podcast and also watched the Emma holiday pediatrics review on YouTube I would say those last two so the divine interventions podcast on YouTube and the Emma holiday review on YouTube those two are probably some of the best things I did to prepare for my shelves and so I'd highly recommend that you guys check out those videos I'll link the YouTube links down below for you guys to check out um, I also did get through all of my peds Anki deck and did all of the peds you world and MBME questions which is kind of just a given and overall I felt like I was pretty well prepared. Um, I will say though that while I was taking my exam I did not realize that shelf exams are graded on a curve and so I was kind of freaking out halfway through my exam and just thought I was not doing very well at all. But yeah just know that it's on a curve and it's normal for the questions to feel a lot more ambiguous or a lot more 
difficult to answer almost than uh, questions that you've run into previously for again the preclinical and step one uh, type questions and so yeah it honestly all worked out for me and I'm really happy with how I prepared for the exam um, and then just some stats for any of you guys who are interested in going into pediatrics so the average step one score for someone matching into pediatrics in 2020 was a 229 and the average step two score was a 238 so hopefully that gives you a um, general ballpark of how well you want to do on your exams to match into pediatrics and yeah that was about it that was my quick two cents on the wonderful field of pediatrics I hope you guys learned something and got a general gist for what the field could be like uh, but thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys in my next one bye